Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Smart Wallet and me where financial wisdom matters. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Dogecoin or Doggy Coin or whatever you want to call it because it looks like Wall Street Bets is now targeting this cryptocurrency. They want to bring it up to at least a dollar. So let's get right into it and talk about it. Okay guys, so first off, Robinhood bans Doggy Coin or Dogecoin, whatever you want to call it, trading after Wall Street Bets Reddit community eyes Dogecoin. If you go on Robinhood right now, your orders cannot be executed according to Robinhood. Wall Street Bets, who has targeted GameStop and AMC and other companies, has now targeted Dogecoin and they have almost doubled the price of Dogecoin to about two cents. And there's rumors that they want to bring it up to about a dollar. So guys, let me know what you think about this. This is crazy. Dogecoin could be going up to at least a dollar or maybe even higher than that if they're able to get this reddit community up and running and get more people to start buying this coin but it looks like robin hood has stopped trading it so i don't know how that's going to work out there's no more free trade guys it looks like there's a lot of problems with uh robin hood executing orders on dogecoin the crypto market has stirred at the news that the reddit wall street bets community behind the gamestop stock pump has set its sights on dogecoin the popular trading app Robinhood has another idea, however. The markets have realized that a well-timed social movement can bring astronomical results since retail traders seem to have a lot of power at their disposal. On the other hand, who are you going to have to be at the power spectrum here? You want the elites to have the power to dictate and manipulate the market? Or do you want the power to be with the people and for them to decide what the market price should be of a particular stock? Both ways you have some problems, there has to be some regulations. Now you don't want to pump and dump a stock either because that can cause a lot of problems for people who are innocent bystanders just buying into the stock or a coin in this case. Now you guys decide who's going to have control over the market. Is it going to be the elites where they manipulate the price? We already know a lot of times elites do manipulate the market for their own benefits. Where do you want the power to be with the elites or with the regular people? Now. There should be some regulations with the stock trading, of course, because you want there to be some regulations where nothing is being pumped and dumped and a lot of innocent investors are being hurt. But at the same time, you don't want to censor speech or censor trading because when that happens, then you really don't have a free market anymore. And this guy said right here, Robin Hood, where we steal from the rich and give to the poor. Wait, no, not like that. All right, too real. Shut it down, folks. Now. That kind of sounds too real in this case because now the Robinhood app is shutting down the applications for it to trade Dogecoin and that kind of is unfair for people who really want to make some you know, money on this if there's a possibility for it to go up to a dollar and if people who, who didn't know about it and weren't able to get in early on, you know, they're going to be losing out on this. So there's a good side and a bad side to this whole situation. So taking a look at the one day interval chart here, you can see that the Dogecoin is trading at almost 2 cents, 0 0.0195. In January 2021, it was trading at 0 0.0106 and right now it's at 0 0.0195, which is almost doubled in price just in one day. The RSI strength is at 83. The stochastic shows is at 31, which is going up and the momentum is also going up. And also just taking a look at the volume of traders that are trading Dogecoin right now, it is at 6.82 billion and in January it was only at 3.42 so we have doubled the volume just in less than a month. You can check out some Dogecoin Reddit platforms and you'll see that uh, Dogecoin is really really taking off right now. There's a lot of people uh, putting out some uh, comments out here saying that Robinhood has blocked GME, AMC, and Nokia. I just bought $1,000 worth of Dogecoin and they're saying, you know, it's going to go to the moon and there's just a lot of uh, memes out here and, uh, you know, two cents by the end of the day. If Dogecoin hits 50 cents, I will buy my kids a dog. You know, there's a lot of good stuff out there, but when the platform shuts down the ability for you to trade, then you have a problem with actually having a free market. According to CoinMarketCap, the Dogecoin is now at number 19 in rank. And you can see here of all the years that they have been trading, it was at around 0 0.000326. And then back in 2018, it went up to around 0 0.01 cent. And then now it's almost at 2 cents just in two years so it could go up to a dollar if this gets pumped up but if they are not going to allow you to trade this coin 
then we may not be able to make it go up to a dollar unfortunately let me know what you guys think about this if you guys think that this is fair for for robin hood to shut down the ability for you to trade this uh dodge coin or if it's good or if you think it's safer to just let things cool down right now maybe let the dust settle and see what happens later on or if you think that we should just pump it and let it go up and let the market decide where it goes do you guys decide let me know leave your comments down below like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching